Today's topic, soccer balls and shoe boxes. Soccer balls are one of the wow items I'll because a child suggests. Many people have trouble figuring out how to fit them in, so that also included me. So I thought today I would show you a video of how I packed a soccer ball in a one of our boys which is a child's new cardboard shoe boxes. If anyone is curious, this is the soccer ball I'll be showing you today. Well, this is the container. It's obviously not there. Um, it is a Franklin size 4. I really don't know what this means. I should have asked my cousin who played soccer in college. She would have known. But anyhow. Maybe it was high school. Anyhow. She would have known. But that's what I could find on the spur of the moment because I had plans to get one all year and it never happened and I had to get it at the last minute. So, that's what Dollar General had. That's what we got. Also, I was really excited I found these late last year. Actually, 10%. I only spent 10%. Of that was 90% off at Fred's. Franklin Shin Guard Socks. So I thought that would make it a really great thing. And so I went full soccer themed. So here it is. Obviously, the first thing you're going to have to do is that ball is not going to fit in this box. You have to deflate it. So how you do that is you take the pin, the needle off, you put it in and you squeeze the air out. Now please note, you don't want to squeeze it too hard or you may push this through the tip of the bladder. So I don't really know how you tell that, but be careful. This actually is a really nice pump. I'm not actually sure where it's from. It was donated to a packing party I helped with last year and there was no soccer ball to go with it. So I said, send it home with me, I'll get a soccer ball. So. This box just really came together well. That's the letter, soccer, and there's a picture on that too, soccer, stickers, coloring books, some soccer, like games and color things from um, our church's kids program. Pencil case with, you know, pencils, sharpener, let me see. I think the sharpener also plays out. Erasers, that kind of thing, pens. Bandana. Whistle. I thought they needed a good whistle to play soccer. Little animal figurines. Washcloth, soap, crayons, plain paper. I thought he kind of looked like a soccer ball, so that's the stuffed animal they got. A few hoppy frogs. Comb. Ma bag of marbles. Some other little animal figurines. These are the shin guard socks, and this is the soccer ball. I just rolled it up. I used our band to keep it pushed down. And it really doesn't take up too much. It's really not as bad as I expected. I have a soccer pencil sharpener, a couple of little soccer mobile duckies, a soccer ball keychain on the top, and a um, small little board game that came with Chick-fil-A or something, but it had someone playing soccer on it. And I thought that kind of looked like a soccer ball. So, this is a, like I said, this is a size 4 Franklin, and deflated as much as we felt was safe. It probably could deflate more, um, but this is what I felt comfortable with, and I felt like I could... St I actually, when I was going to pack it, I put, took a little bit more out to get the last few things in, but it still has... You can see there's still plenty of room right there that I don't think I'm damaging anything, which, of course, one has no interest in doing since one wishes the kid to be able to play with it. So, um, if you are an expert at packing soccer balls and shoeboxes, I'd love to hear your hints as to size, brands, how flat you can deflate it. I also am going planning on on my way to drop these off to pick all when I run out before I drop them off, pick up another package of needles because the needles can break pretty easily and so I think I've seen them at the dollar stall, like a five pack, so I'm just gonna throw those in here on some little corner to make sure that they can um keep inflating it. So there you have it. Hope this helps you. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and follow.